Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. If you've been waiting patiently for Kingdom Hearts 3 and the remake of Final Fantasy VII, get ready to keep waiting. A schedule of Square Enix's upcoming games popped up on NeoGAF and neither game was featured in its 2017 calendar, but don't worry, both are still scheduled for fiscal year 2018 and beyond, which basically means we still don't know when either is coming out. That's obviously a disappointment to fans of both games, seeing as how both were announced years ago and we haven't heard much from Square Enix since. It's also worth noting that Square Enix also listed Marvel IP in that ambiguous FY 2018 and beyond category too. But something tells us that Marvel Studios may not be as patient as Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy fans. We're used to waiting. Marvel fans are used to getting two movies a year. Capcom says it's delaying an expansion for Resident Evil 7 that was supposed to come out this spring. Game director Koshi Nakanishi said the delay is needed to improve the free add-on to the game. In a video, he said, In light of the incredible reception of Resident Evil 7, we concluded that this DLC was not good enough to meet those high expectations. Producer Masachika Kawada added, Our aim is for this content to match the high quality of the main game, so we need more development time in order to achieve that goal. GameSpot reports that the Not A Hero expansion will now be released at an unconfirmed date and, without giving any spoilers, it apparently stars a fan favorite character who pops up at the end of the game. Twitch is rolling out a new way for smaller channels to make money. Called the Affiliates Program, it's a way for channels that haven't made it to partner level to still get some benefits of streaming. Probably the biggest perk of the new program is that it will allow affiliates to get tips from their viewers and they'll have access to subscriptions, run ads, and one subscriber emote. To qualify, streamers will need at least 50 followers, 500 total minutes of streaming in the last 30 days, at least 7 unique streaming days in the last 30 days, and an average of 3 concurrent viewers or more over the last 30 days. Twitch hasn't given a release date for the new program, but said it will be coming very soon so we can have even more streaming fun. The spring update to Battlefield 1 will be releasing soon, and it'll bring a number of additions like platoons and private servers. VG247 reports that the update will add password-protected servers, which will be unranked, but still a welcome addition to groups of players who want a more private experience. Meanwhile, the update will also bring back platoons to the game. Platoons are basically a group of players similar to clans, and players will be able to link their platoon to rented servers. The update will also introduce 4 new level 10 weapon variants, 19 new ribbons, and 5 new dog tags to unlock. Oh, and the planes have been nerfed and a number of other gameplay tweaks have been added. There's been no date given for the update, but I assume it'll be sometime this spring since it's called the spring update. We're real sleuths over here. Now it looks like we just moved one step closer to a Hollywood writer's strike. Variety reports that members of the Writers Guild of America voted to strike against production companies, which could happen as early as next week. The writers' contract negotiations with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, which represents the studios, are set to resume today, but a strike could start as early as next Tuesday if no deal is announced by then. As for the strike vote, a total of 6,310 ballots were cast and 67.5% of eligible WGA members voted. Of those, more than 96% voted for the strike. So, a lot. If a strike does happen, it would be the first in about a decade and would have some pretty widespread consequences for pretty much every show on television, movies, you name it. We actually did a roundup on a lot of the stuff that could be affected and what a writer strike actually means and what that impacts. So we'll put that in the end slate. The trailer for Kingsman, The Golden Circle is out now and it looks like the new movie will be just as much fun as the original. The trailer picks up following the events of the first film and shows the secret spy group's headquarters being blown up in a surprise attack. So strong start. After that, the remaining Kingsmen flee to America and hook up with their US counterparts. That group is called, get this, the Statesmen, and includes a star-studded group including Jeff Daniels, Channing Tatum, and Halle Berry. So far, the trailer, which was released yesterday, is the top trending video on YouTube with more than 3.6 million views. Kingsman The Golden Circle is going to be in theaters September 22nd. I can't wait. The first one was a great surprise. I actually went and, and got the comic afterward as a result, and I'm pretty happy about that. 
Marvel Studios isn't telling us the title for the fourth Avengers movie, and there's a pretty good reason why. Studio boss Kevin Feige told Cinema Blend they're keeping the title under wraps for now because the title is apparently kind of a big spoiler for Infinity War. Infinity War is currently in production and hits theaters on May 4th, 2018, while the fourth Avengers movie is due out about a year later. Uh, you might remember that Infinity War was originally supposed to be in two parts, shot back to back, but since then, Avengers 4 has become a separate film. Uh, it's a total standalone, and it apparently won't go into production until after Infinity War wraps. Feige has said that Infinity War will serve as a bit of a climax for the MCU uh, Phase 3, and that Marvel Cinematic Universe will go through some pretty major changes after that. What exactly those look like, we're not sure yet. Anyone know of a lady white rhino looking for a good man? The endangered species is uh, down to its last dude, and he's on Tinder. He, he, he's really on Tinder. A nature conservancy in Kenya and the dating app have announced a campaign to help raise awareness about the rhino's plight and to raise money to save it from extinction. The rhino's Tinder profile says, I'm one of a kind. No, seriously, I'm the last male white rhino on the planet Earth. I don't mean to be too forward, but the fate of my species literally depends on me. If people swipe right, they're given the option to donate. The rhino is named Sudan, and he is one of the three remaining northern white rhinos on Earth. The other two are females named Najin and Fatu, and they also live at the Kenyan Sanctuary. Hopefully, they get busy. <laughs> Attempts to breed the rhinos naturally haven't actually had all that much success. Researchers are currently looking into possibly using in vitro fertilization with the two females, but so far, no luck. According to the Huffington Post, Tinder said it hopes the campaign raises $9 million for research into the assisted reproductive techniques that scientists hope could save the animal. Tinder, you're our last hope. Never thought I would say that. Um, that's all the news we have for you guys today. Let us know what you think of all these stories in the comments below. To make sure you get news from every corner of the internet every day, make sure you like this video. And if you're new here, subscribe to The Note and we'll news you constantly. Well, not constantly. We don't want to come on too strong. Like Tinder. Game director Koshi Tak Naka Nakanishi. Nakanishi. Okay. Okay. I can do it. For Masachika Kawada. Meanwhile, the update will also bring black, black, black platoons, black, black platoons.